Now we begin our film series review on Lloyd Cushenberry, who's anticipated to be the Broncos' starting center in 2020. Now, here's the deal. They're going to run a jet motion, jet sweep to the outside, which means it's going to flow to the outside, meaning that you have to account for all of these near side threats here. So what's going to happen is Lloyd Cushenberry is going to release up to the next level. Thaddeus Moss is going to release up and seal to the next level as well. You want to try to seal off all the inside help to free your running back up in space here. I'm going to show you guys from the other angle. It's a lot easier for you guys to diagnose from the offensive line perspective here, but I'm going to pause it for you guys right about here. So here's Thaddeus Moss. Okay, Now you got the jet motion coming all the way across the field. I love that play. It's a pain in the ass, though, as a defense defensive back as a corner because you're really relying on your backers, your outside guys, your safeties to be able to kind of seal that playoff here. So the scheme that you're going to see right here, now you're going to see Lloyd Cushingberry. He's going to he's going to release right here, and he's going to try to seal off number 35 from being able to track inside. Now what Thaddeus Moss is going to do, he's going to chip the outside shoulder right here on number 33. He's going to come outside and get in front of number 8 and block him. Sorry for the horrible drawing there. Uh, it's hard to do that on a Mac. And then you have everybody else in one-on-one -on -one blocking. Now this guy gets a little bit of penetration, so obviously the running back's going to be forced here. But Lloyd Cushenberry, I want you guys to continue to watch him, and I'm also going to run it back on a replay for you guys. He does a great job really just moving his hips, and he also does a seal block with his hips. So watch how he releases his next level he's sealing number 35 he's keeping his feet active and then watch this then he uses his hips he turns all the way around rather than holding he turns and hip bumps him and that leads to a play for LSU obviously but a pretty good block altogether there by Lloyd Cushenberry on this play, Joe Burrow gets sacked, but it's not because of Lloyd Cushenberry. This comes from other offensive line breakdown here or just being overpowered in general. But Lloyd Cushenberry here does a great job against a tackle and stunt, which means that he's going to have a guy cross his face. He's going to have another guy try to come back around here. Now, he does a good job. He essentially takes on a double team altogether here. I like this play by him. I think his great effort shows that he can handle a little bit of action here, but also... Just watch where the pre pressure comes from altogether. Inside, he's going to go inside out. He's sealing right here. He's going to close the near threat out here. He does a great job pivoting his hips right here, stepping up and picking up number 99 as well. So essentially right here, he's got two guys on each shoulder that he's blocking. And he's look at that anchor and that base that he's got right there. He's doing a pretty good job. Now, I'm going to show you guys once again. There's one, there's two. Joe Burrow goes down due to somebody else here. But that's a high-quality rep from your guy who's going to be playing center more than likely for the Denver Broncos. This is a pretty quality rep here by Lloyd Cushenberry uh, in pass protection here. Joe Burrow throws a touchdown to some of LSU's fastest receivers. I mean, they got a lot of them, uh, but really great quality rep here by the offensive line. I'll show you guys what I mean here. Now, before the ball is snapped, this defensive end, he's going to crash inside. This defensive tackle is going to step up inside this gap, so Lloyd Cushenberry is going to have to step over interior-wise, and he's got a one-on-one -on -one with this defensive tackle right here. He does a good job at the point of contact right here. Now he buries him. Now he's got the leverage. Now once the defensive lineman drops to his knees, Lloyd Cushenberry does the rest. He pummels him into the ground, and that leads to LSU having time to complete a pass with Joe Burrow here. Great rep here by Lloyd Cushenberry. You know, one of the things I think in film that I've been looking at is he's got to just be consistent with dropping his anchor as an offensive lineman, but that's a quality rep right there. First off, I just want to say Auburn is a hell of a football team. They are tough, and they beat up Joe Burrow in this game. And they gave Lloyd Cushenberry a couple of fits here. And you're going to see Derek Brown and this inside linebacker for Auburn get the best of him on this rep here. This is where I like to reference. I feel like he's got to be more consistent overall with his anchor, with his base here, and especially with his forward, being able to plant and have that leverage. Now, right now, it looks like he's kind of just leaned back. He doesn't have the forward leverage, in my opinion, because I feel like he's standing straight up on you. Now, this just could be blocking scheme by you. This is just me just reading what I see, making my own interpretation here. But now right here, you see the inside linebacker. He's bulldozing, and he pushes Cushenberry back. Now, Cushenberry's on the ground. Now, Joe Burrow's got to run for his life here. He gets sacked here by number 10. A good play overall by Auburn against LSU. And as I said right there, just feel like he's got to be more anchored, centered down a little bit. And this is something that's workable. It's completely fixable. But just one of the concerns that I've seen a little bit so far on the tape. This is a quality rep here by Lloyd Cushyberry and the LSU offensive line, giving the running back a chance to get a little bit of extra yardage here 
on the play. And I'm going to show you guys what I mean. Now, right now, there's a defensive tackle. He's lined up in a one technique. He's going to come off the ball here. Lloyd Cushenberry has to protect inside out first. He does just that. Flo is going to the offensive right side of the field. Now, he clears. He releases from the double team and allows number 73 to pick him up. Now, this linebacker is going to come free here, but Lloyd Cushenberry stepping towards the nearest play side threat right here. He's going to seal him off inside, and then your running back is going to get a little bit of extra yardage because of that. Auburn, like I said, played very physical, but great job right here, sealing and getting to the next level here by Lloyd Cushenberry. He's going to have to do a lot of that at the NFL level. This is a really good battle right here between Lloyd Cushenberry and Derrick Brown. Now look, if Cushenberry is the starting center for the Broncos, when the Carolina Panthers and Denver play this year, we're going to see a rematch of this battle. And I think Cushenberry got better because of it. And he does a great job here, dropping his anchor against the bull rush here by Derek Brown. Now I'm going to show you guys what I mean right here. Just watch how he just anchors down a little bit. He drops his hips, has great contact here on Derek Brown. Watch it again. Watch it again. Just beautiful. This is a one-on-one, -on -one, and he did really good. He also did a great in a one-on-one -on -one battle with Javon Kinlaw at the Senior Bowl. This was a great rep here by Cushenberry. This is a good battle between Cushenberry and newest Bronco as well, McTelvin Ajim. And ladies and gentlemen, just watch for yourself here. I like the motor that Ajim possesses, and I also like Cushenberry here. He rises up to the challenge here. A good pass rush move here by Ajim. And Lloyd Cushenberry does a pretty good job one-on-one -on -one in that anchor there, but still disruptive by McTelvin Ajim on this completion here by Joe Burrow but look at the disruption now you got the one-on-one -on -one. they're engaging with each other and bam I mean luckily that's a good throw by Joe Burrow that was a good rep between both newest Broncos Bronco on Bronco crime we'll see some of that in training camp probably when the offense goes against the defense on this play, there are phenomenal reps by Lloyd Cushenberry and by McTelvin Ajim. They don't really have contact with one another on this play here. There actually should have been a holding call on LSU, but not on Cushenberry on the right guard, though, for LSU. This is an incomplete pass, but watch the rep here. McTelvin Ajim, he is right here if you guys want to watch him. And then also watch Cushenberry, who obviously is going to be snapping the ball to Joe Burrow. So the play happens here. Joe Burrow does a great job stepping up. Look at that bull rush there by Ajim. There's a hold, not called, throw down field. It is incomplete. But you know what? It's nice that we get to see a film review pretty much on two of the Broncos' newest additions. Now, I'm going to walk you guys through this real quick. As you can see, here is Lloyd Cushenberry, where the little red, orange, I don't even know why I said red, the orange marker is. And here is McTelvin Ajim. And look, I'm excited. I feel like he's going to be the steal of the draft here for the Broncos defensively. He is lined up right now in a two-eye, which means that he's on the inside shoulder of this right guard. Now, if you see where the running back is positioned at, ladies and gentlemen, more than likely he's going to come up on an inside draw or he can come out wide for inside zone. You could do a lot of different things, outside zone, stretch, whatever. So because of that, McTelvin Ajim, he's not going to shoot the gap right here because then that would open up a hole right here for the running back if they were to run at that side so he sees that the running back is literally lined up to the left of Joe Burrow which means that he's going to attack this gap right here now we label it the a gap there's the b gap here's the c gap you can almost call it there so a gap b gap c gap here and then this on the outside is what we call the e alley that's a terminology really that we don't really have to go over here but McTelvin regime will shoot across here in the b gap because that he sees the offset back. Now, if the back was to Joe Burrow's side, let's say right here, then more than likely you'd see Ajim shoot inside. And this guy would probably attack outside right here. So just some football terminology for you guys. Here's the rep for you. McTelvin Ajim. Look at that hold. This is a holding call right here on the right guard by LSU. They're not going to call it. So it is what it is. So Joe Burrow's going to throw it. Uh, there's the hold call once again. Quality rep here. And then let's take a look back once again at Lloyd Cushenberry, what he does a good job of right here. He's going to step down right here on this guy. He's got a one-on-one -on -one here because this tackle is trying to help and bow over. And look, I mean, right here, that's a quality rep all across the board for Cushenberry and Ajim, ladies and gentlemen. Two Denver Broncos. On this play, Cushenberry does a great job of crashing down on the defensive tackle to create a hole for his running back. His running back reads it, does the rest, and also I'm going to point right here. This is McTelvin Ajim, one of the Broncos' pickups in this year's NFL draft as well. So keep an eye on him as we go through this film review here when we take a look at the Arkansas game. Now watch what Cushenberry does right here. Now I'm going to walk you through it here. This guy right here was lined up in a two-eye, which means he was on the inside shoulder of the guard here. So as a center, you want to attack the nearest three 
threat possible of causing interior penetration. So you're going to crash down on the 2i tech and you're going to try to work your way up but really this backer doesn't see it doesn't fill in time so he just crashes him down and the running back does the rest here and does a great job poor angle there by the inside linebacker for arkansas on this play and as you guys can see here's mctelvin regime long rangy attacking at the point of contact step it down closing his gap down so he's doing his job here the running back does the rest here for lsu though i'm going to show you guys again but look at cushionberry the double team, you know, he really benefited and was really good when he was double teaming defensive tackles. He did excel in some one-on-one -on -one situations. This linebacker here doesn't do a good job filling the necessary gap. If he reads it rightly, he knows that this hole is coming up inside because now you got a lead guy, a lead wing blocker here with Thaddeus Moss coming in to try to kick this guy out here. So, you know, overall, I think this was a great play by LSU. Cushionberry does a great job. It was kind of cool as well to see McTelvin Ajim.